welcome to Mrs. Guevara's Story Corner. I'm Mrs. Guevara, and whether you're one of my kindergartners or another viewer watching along with us, or maybe you're my special helper. Who's my special helper? Special helper, let's find out. Harvey, Hi. hey, our special helper today. And it looks like you brought some fun stuff. Two books and two, two friends. Yay. We're going to be talking all about feelings today. But before we get to that, we're going to send a couple heart outs to some friends who've been watching along. Macy, hello, dear, and hello to your three younger siblings. Thanks for watching. London, she really enjoyed the bubbles that we talked about yesterday with the bubble factory. And so she yeah. and her sister were out in the sunshine. And then, do you know we have a really special shout out, heart out today? It is for our very own Mrs. Friedel. In fact, we have a special surprise. Today is her birthday. Oh. Happy birthday, Mrs. Friedel. Yeah. So even though it's her birthday, she has a gift for us. Let's watch this special gift. Hi everyone, surprise. Um, I just wanted to pop in and say hi and let you know that I miss you so, so, so much. Um, I also wanted to introduce you to a very special person. This is Luca. <laughs> he's very sleepy right now. Um, he's about three months old and he likes to go for walks and smile and hang out with me and his dad. Um, so I just wanted to let you know that I'm thinking about you and I miss you. Aw, that was so great. Luca is so cute. Yeah. Aw, special to hear from Mrs. Friedel. She looks great. We miss her a lot, too. I know she said she misses all of you. Aw, really special. Well, moving right along, I was thinking that today we would read two books about feelings. And the first one is called Alicia Has a Bad Day. Ooh, Harvey, can you think of what about this story is kind of a secret? Oh, yes, I can. Your name is Alicia. <sighs> Boys and girls, Harvey just told you the secret that even teachers have first names. And my first <laughs> name is on this book. Alicia has a bad day. And maybe if I put my glasses on, she even kind of looks like me. You think yeah. so? Yeah. She's got blonde hair and so almost nice. the same color of dress. Yeah, if you it, took off this, it might be even be the same. Oh, well, let's see if it sounds like me in this story of Alicia yeah. has a bad day. What if you, like, whenever she was talking, you could use your voice? I could, that's true. Well, hello, my name is Alicia. This is my dog, Neptune. I am generally a very happy person. But not always. Some days I am miserable. Do you know what miserable means, Harvey? It means mad and sad and all of the bad feelings. Like You're that. right. It's kind of like a bad feeling soup. Yeah. Today I am so miserable, I don't want to get out of bed. Neptune doesn't even lick my face like he usually does. That must start you off with a bad day. Yes. Eventually, I do get up, but all I can do is sit and mope. Mm. After I mope, I lie on the floor and stare at the ceiling. The cracks make faces at me. Mm. Pretty funny. Are they making her laugh? Yeah. No, but no one has a weird nose. Yeah, it makes <laughs> her feel like they're, they're teasing her, maybe. Yeah. Then I play music very loud, and I dance very fast. I stand on my head, I listen to my heartbeat, but I am still miserable. Finally, I grab my notebook and my red crayon and go outside. The Look. sun is even sad. Ugh. I walk into the woods, stepping on anthills as I go. Ha ha! Now, do you think if she lived where we used to live in Texas, that would be a very good idea? No, but a stick would. This stick, you know, an anthill with a stick might be good. But in it, Texas, ants bite. You Horrible. step on them, right? Yeah, but in the summer here, you can, like, make a triangle around them and they crawl on your hand and they don't bite. 
No, but I sit down on a stump. I write the word lugubrious in my notebook. Can you say that big of a word? Lugubrious. Can you guys say that big of a word? Lugubrious. Ooh, we're going to find out what it means. Lugubrious is my favorite miserable word. It means dark and dreary. It is dark and dreary in my heart. A big gray cloud covers the sun. It starts to rain and ants crawl up my cheek. <gasps> dun, I hope dun, they're not dun. fire ants. On my way home, I trip. I land in a gooey mud puddle. Grr. I've said that before. Grr, grr, grr. And more grr. I run upstairs. I shout as loud as I can. I am miserable. I crawl to the darkest, dreariest place I know. Where is it? Under her bed. Somebody else is there. Neptune. I feel something soft and warm. It's Neptune. He licks my face. <gasps> what do we see now on her face? A smile. We go outside to play, and the world is a little less lugubrious. Oh, sunny sunshine. That was Alicia Has a Bad Day by Lisa John Clow. Wow, that was kind of an interesting book about feelings. Yeah. And I'm seeing here, too, we need to make sure we put up that you are my special helper. Oh, yeah. Let's see who else are my special helpers today. Ooh, yeah, I know somebody who sometimes has some bad days. That's well, all me. All days are bad days to him. Bad, bad, bad. Bummer, bummer, bummer. Oh, Eeyore, why are you so sad today? The usual. Your house fell down? You guessed it. <laughs> Tail fell off. Look, house fell down. Pretty sure the only thing that could cheer me up. Can't even think of it. Oh, I know. What about Winnie the Pooh? Can he think of it? Oh, Eeyore. Don't be so gloomy. You can say, oh, bother a couple of times and then <laughs> go find some honey and a snuggle. All right, Harvey. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Harvey likes to snuggle Winnie the Pooh. I think, Winnie the Pooh, you might know what else would make your cheer up. Oh, I'll whisper it in Harvey's ear. Too. What was he whispering, Harvey? He said, soft, 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 Was it sing his favorite song? Oh, I know what that is. I think he likes it when we all sing his favorite song. I think so, too. He's already perking up a little bit. Can you guess what it's called? Down by the bay. All right, let's sing it together. Down by, by the, the bay, bay. Down by the bay. Where the watermelons grow. Where the watermelons grow. Back to my home. Back to my home. I dare not go. I dare not go. For if I do. For if I do. My, my mother, mother will say. My mother will say. Have you ever seen a bear? Combing his hair. Down and by the bay. Let's do another verse. Down yeah. by the bay. Down by the bay. Where the watermelons grow. Where the watermelons grow. Back to my home. Back to my home. I dare not go. I dare not go. For if I do. For if I do. My mother will say. My mother will say. Have you ever seen a giraffe taking a bath, bath down, down by, by the bay? Oh, Eeyore, we see you almost doing a little donkey dance now. Donkey dance, donkey dance. I think a hug will help me feel all the way better. Oh, thank you, Harvey. And thank you, Winnie the Pooh, two buddies. I bet another book a little happier might yeah. help us feel a little better, too. Let's set you guys right here 
and get out one of our favorite elephant and piggy books. What's this one called, Harvey? My New Best Friend. <sighs> Read the whole title. My New Best Friend. Oh, My New Best Friend is so fun. Yes, My New Friend is so fun by one of our favorite authors, Mo Willems. He writes Piggy and Gerald. He writes Pigeon Books. He writes Knuffle Bunny. Oh, I love Knuffle Bunny. My new friend is so fun. Come on, what she is. Let's take turns on some of the speech bubbles, okay? Yeah. You want to be the worm and I'll be Gerald? Yeah, sure. Okay. Hi, Gerald. Hi, Snake. Have you seen Piggy? Piggy just met Brian Bat for the first time. Now they are playing. Fun. Brian Bat is nice. I know. Brian is my best friend. Oh, and who is Gerald's best friend? Snake. Who is Gerald's best friend? Oh, Piggy. <laughs> yes. You know, Piggy is my best friend. And he thinks for a minute. <gasps> Both Piggy and Brian are so nice. They must be having a really fun time. Yeah. They must be having a super fun time. Yeah. They must be having a super duper fun time. Yeah. Flip. They must be having a... Oh, no. What do you think they're worried about, Harvey? That Piggy doesn't want to be his friend and... Now, that is Piggy's friend. Maybe switching friends? Yeah. What if they're having too much fun? How can they have too much fun? They could be having more fun than they have with us. More fun? <gasps> much more fun! Much more fun! If they are having that much fun together, then... Maybe they do not need us. Aww. I do not want to lose my best friend! I do not want to lose my best friend! <sighs> they are stressed out. Yeah. We must do something. We must tell them to stop having fun. <gasps> Piggy! Brian! on the brakes. Skirch. Oh, hi, Gerald. Hi, Snake. Piggy, Brian, we have to tell you something. So do we. You do? We have to tell you how much fun we are having. So much fun. <laughs> They're so scared. We have been playing Bring the best, best friend games. Best friend games. It's best friend fun. Best, best friend best friend fun. We even made best friend drawings. Best, best friend, friend drawings. It is worse than we feared. We are doomed. Look at these close-ups, everyone. It's kind of funny. I was like, this is worse than we feared. Yes. Do you want to see our drawings? I'm... I oh. must cover my eyes. I cannot cover my eyes. Why not? Because he's a snake. Oh, do you see the cheeks on these two? They're blushing. They have something they're a little embarrassed about. Ta -da! Who is on the best friend drawing? It's um Gerald. Gerald and Snake. Oh, Gerald's peeking on one eye. <laughs> you made drawings of us. Of course, you are our best friends. Hmm. What did you have to tell us? Uh, 
have fun, fun with, with your, your new best friend. friend. Try that one again. Have fun with, with your new friend. friend. And we always like to look for... They're drawing the pigeon. Sneaky pigeon. He's always on the back. Oh, so we have two feelings books. What kind of feelings were in here, Harvey? And gloomy and lugubrious. Just sad ones. Until the end, she felt a little bit better. What about feelings in here? Happy and scared. Like, like they were happy. They were scared. Mm -hmm. They're scared. peeking over. Well, I thought maybe we could do a little best friend and feeling drawing. So I have a chart here, and this says, how do you feel when dot, dot, dot. And if you're at your own home, and if you wanted to draw four circles, maybe you can draw the faces too. Mm -hmm. Harvey, can you grab a black marker? And let's see if you can help I just grabbed one. Okay, any color, yes. Um, how do you feel, read it, Harvey. You, how do you feel when you can't think of something fun to do? How do you feel? I feel kind of like, feel bored and just like, like, I don't know, I just feel bored and like there's nothing to like really help me. Yeah, just kind like, of, is it more down than up when you can't yeah, think of something? Yeah, and like whenever somebody gives me an idea, I'm kind of like, no, I'm just so bored. Oh, let's see how we might draw that face. Do you think it might be kind of a... Like a straight face, maybe. And a little It'll, down. Yeah. And maybe your eyes are going over. Yeah. Kind of like, I just can't think of it. How about the next one? Um, how do you feel when... You get hurt on the outside or inside. Do you know what getting hurt on the outside means? Yeah. What? When you get scraped, but when you're angry. Is that, am I right about that? Like on your body is yeah. your outside. And then on the inside is where like somebody hurts your feelings. Yeah. So what if you get one of those kind of hurts? This is what my face would uh, be. Let's see. Not down, but super down. And maybe even some tears. Is that what you guys drew too? If you were hurt on the inside or the outside. And then how do you feel when it's a holiday or your birthday? Super happy. Okay. Going like, off my face. Ooh. But it's like not no matter what the holiday or do you have a favorite holiday? Christmas. That's right. probably my favorite one. Yeah, so super happy. And maybe even some eyebrows that are up. Yeah. Okay, then, what's our last one, everyone? How do you feel when during e-learning? Hmm. Straight face, kind of in the middle. Kind of, kind of like, eh. And then, kind of like, it's fun, but not too fun. So you've had some good points and maybe some hard points. Yeah. So would you say maybe it could just be this kind? Uh, maybe, yeah. And not a super big smile. Yeah. But if you could have things be a little better, then you would like it to be maybe a little bit better. Yeah, I would kind of be like... Like, whenever I do it, I'm, like, in a happy mood. Mm-hmm. Kind of looks like the people on the chart are happy. Right. <laughs> well, Harvey, thanks for being honest with us and helping us. How did you guys mark your faces on your, your circles? Yeah. Did you think about how you were feeling for e-learning? Kind of a tricky one because there are parts of it that are good, but a lot of us do miss how things were. And we yes. really are hoping that they come back soon. This is our sign language right here. When we go like this and we point to our heart, that's sign language for feeling. So how do I feel? And it's okay. If you're kind of up or down or in the middle, kind of like Alicia in the story or Piggy and Gerald, go ahead and tell someone today. 
and find someone at your house who can give you a big, huge hug yes. and find a way to make things be a little better. I'll tell you, the sunshine makes me feel a little better. And knowing that I get to Zoom with some of you this week, that's been really fun. Harvey, you make me smile. Thanks for being my boy. And I want you all to know you're all my favorites. See you soon.